Just in the last two weeks alone, there has been more 2160s thrown in this sport than my tummy can handle. Switch triple cork. Oh wow. no, it's the 20 we three. What's he got for his last attempt? 2160! Oh. It's time we put a pause on all the X Games madness and go back to our roots. We're tossing a backflip was more than sufficient. This is MSP's newest film, The Land of Giants. If you guys are new to MSP, they've been filming skiing for over 25 years now. Since their start in 91, we've seen the debut of Ski Movie in 2000, of McConkie, God Rest His Soul in 2013, Days of My Youth in 2014, just to name a few. And fast forward to last October, they, they came out with their newest film, The Land of Giants. It's home to some huge names and some huge skiing. Sammy Carlson, Colby Stevenson, Hedvig Vessel, and Kate Zeliff out in the boonies in Alaska. Uh, there were some massive turns out in Japan, some huge throws out in Idaho. Uh, but the segment I wanted to share with you, you know, have this uh, this moment with was Mark Abma, Logan Pahoda, and uh, Craig Murray out in the coastal mountain range in beautiful British Columbia. This one, this one rips. We got pillows, we got spines right here. Mixed with a lot of snow, the ultimate playground can kind of unfold on the right day. Look at that drop. That drop in, that drop in is rancid. Coming up into the second hit, your threes it. Craig Murray sending some of the biggest natural features known in the boonies and still has the audacity to stunt them as well. Casual 360 scream and semen. Logan Bahoda, left side cork Sev walking in that trail in Japan, tweaking it out. Dub flat seven. More of like a dub flat 810 on that natural head feature. And bringing it back to like a slope style or big air contest. Oh Lord, the camera's gonna fail you every single time to show off the sheer scale of, of that feature the athletes are hitting. But when it comes to free riding footage, the camera doesn't even come close to gauging how steep, how gnarly this terrain Woo! is. Oh. It's the type of thing you don't even need to ski for your adrenals to completely rupture and implode upon themselves. You can just look at it and they're done. Can you imagine being Craig? Nope. Damn. <laughs> Where is he? What? Oh my lord. Where are you going, bro? Oh no. straight to straight to rock on that that second or third drop there still de that's insane still decides to drop when he's completely blind oh my land yeah skis away you gotta be dude that Gore-Tex has to be working real well if there isn't a single flake of snow on his kit. Oh, so my, man. Wow. Bring it in. That was insane. Yeah. So hard to watch some of the big backcountry bales out there. I mean, you watch uh, some of the FWT's uh, bale highlight videos and it just makes you sick to your stomach. But you almost have to watch it to get a better gauge of appreciation for the sheer amount of gnar these athletes are getting after. So many uncontrolled variables out here compared to your textbook resort. The snowpack, the terrain, falling at the top of your, your, your line and sailing down a thousand meters down the entire mountain face. It's just ridiculous. Craig getting back after a huge double hit there, holding on. Oh! Trying to pull switch one, maybe wanted to take it to five. Switch one off of that little wind lip would have been insane. Oh, huge flat three, Japan. Again, just sending that would have been more than sufficient way back when, but still throwing stunts off of it crazy. Abma coming out here, Whistler local. <sighs> Loafs out, huge 360. Big send from Mark. I mean, MSP films it so beautifully, but a camera can't even gauge the proper steepness of a blue groomer, let alone a thousand meter mountain face that shares the same steepness as Tony Hawk's vert ramp. It is so difficult to appreciate what these athletes are getting after without seeing it in the flesh. Oh, it's just insane. Left side three there, sharing both sides of the spinning spectrum. No, it's my dad. <laughs> Hello? Right on the edge there, sending huge 360. Two and a half seconds of airtime at least there. Unreal.
can you imagine? That's what I'm saying. Like there's so many uncontrolled variables. You can be having the best lap of your entire life and then the entire ground that you once knew completely dissolves underneath. Huge wrapped out 360 between that goalpost there. Love to see it. Logan coming in for his turn. Huge backflip to start things off. At the top of his line as well. It is such a long tomahawk all the way down the mountain if you don't stick that first stun. off the last drop what a line dude and obviously the film keeps going I, I i think it's about 90 minutes long there's a lot of good footage a lot of good skiing in there you can find the full thing listed on red bull tv i'll make sure to include the link in the description below